Hello and welcome to another filter grade tutorial. My name is Layton and in this quick video I will be showing you how to create a mask in Adobe Premiere Pro. So masking is helpful when you want to apply a color grade to a specific section of your video or if you'd like to cut out or place something on top of your video. It's a way of integrating two or more separate clips. So I'm in a project here in Premiere. Now the first mask I want to do is a color correction where I target a specific aspect or section of the video. So in this clip here, this palm tree here is drawing a little bit too much attention and it's kind of bright and not very well exposed and it's taken away from the entire scene. So what I'm going to do is actually just darken this so that it doesn't stick out as much. So as you can see, I already have my Lumetri color panel up here. If it's not already up, all you have to do is go to the top of the screen, hit window, and then go down to Lumetri color. Now on the bottom left panel under the projects tab, you want to go and click on this page with the corner turned up and hit new item and hit an adjustment layer. Make sure these are consistent with the settings of your current project, hit okay. Now I'm going to click, I'm going to drag and place this on top of my video clip that I want to adjust. And then from here, make sure you have this adjustment layer clicked. I can now make my adjustments in the Lumetri color panel. So I'm going to decrease the overall exposure, bring down the contrast a bit too, as well as the highlights. So adjust these settings until you're happy with the way the tree will look. So it's still pretty high contrast. I want to bring down the whites, kind of flatten it out so it doesn't stick out so much. Let me bring the overall exposure down a bit more. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to get rid of this now so we can see our video a bit better. Now what you want to do is under this effects controls tab in the top here, make sure you're still clicked in the adjustment layer. You can go down to where it says opacity and there's actually three different options you can use here to create a mask. This is the free drawing pen tool where you can just click and make points. This is a rectangle tool or the four sided polygon mask. And this is the ellipse mask or a circle mask if you want to make a vignette or you have a circular object that'd be easier to create this effect with. So I'm going to use the square or rectangle mask here. So as you can see, as soon as I hit it, the rest of the background has returned to its original state. And what's inside the mask is our color corrected version. So all I got to do is rearrange these points so that it fits this tree. It's okay if it's rough to start off with because you can always add points as you'll see. So just get a rough outline going here. So right here you can see there's a little bit of sky here and a little bit of water here. So all I got to do is click and it adds a point. I can then drag this down right about there and same with up here click and then I can then move it inwards. Now it looks a bit rough and the color grade is very obvious. So what I like to do is go down to the under the mask settings, click on the feather and drag it to the right. And that's going to extend the feather a bit. So it looks more natural as you can see these dotted lines here. So when I click away, you can barely see that there is a color correction made to this tree. If I toggle on and off the layer, original version and then more dark version. So you can take this as far as you want. I can make this tree even darker. But now the exposure of this tree is more consistent with the entire scene. Now you can always move this mask and adjust it further. Just go back over here to the left panel, click the mask. And using the hand tool, we can just move it and maybe use it for a different purpose. So let's darken this bottom bush section here. I'm going to change this to 25%. That way I can see outside of the scene. Add a couple more points. All right, go back to fit. So again, this is a bit rough. You can spend as long as you want adding more points and adjusting this even more. Now you may notice that the wrong part of the scene is dark here. So what you have to do is back under the opacity section, click this box that says inverted. Once you do that, the opposite receives the effect and this bush section here is now darkened. So that's how you mask for a color grade. Now next I wanna show you a technique which I've seen a lot on YouTube actually is where you use masking as a transition. And I've actually covered this in a previous video, but I do want to go over that because it's helpful in explaining how masking works. So for this clip, it pans from left to right, crossing a couple trees. So I'm actually going to use this tree as a transition point, and I'm going to create a mask that covers everything from the right of this tree, and a new clip is going to be placed in. So make sure you've clicked on this clip. You don't need to add an adjustment layer for this one. I like to find a good spot where I can start. And then again, I'm going to go over to the left hand side, my top effects controls panel. And then under the opacity effect, let's start off with a good old four point polygon mask. You're going to want to use whatever is easiest to determine these points. If you want to invert it so you can see better or if the uninverted way is a little bit easier. I'm actually going to hit the box to see my edge is good on this side. I click it there. It's good on this side. You want to try to make sure that this line is right on the tree. So again, I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can make sure that my mask goes completely across. So now you're going to have to do a bit of time consuming masking. So I'm going to click this stopwatch here that sets a keyframe for the mask. If I click on this button here, it's going to go back one frame. That way I can readjust my mask to make sure I cover everything. Now Premiere already knows what you're trying to do here and it's going to do its best to help and move with the scene. So as you can see, I'm not even adjusting it and each frame it is moving back a bit. 
Now, this is not always perfect, and it really depends on which lens you use, uh, what camera you're shooting with. Because of the distortion, Premiere understands straight lines and consistent edges, but if you have a wide angle lens, there is a bit of distortion as you go towards the edges in Premiere. Sometimes struggles with that, so I like to just adjust this a little bit more. So I want to go after where I started the keyframes, because as you can see, my mask just stops, and I want to have it finish right there as soon as the tree disappears from the left side of the screen. So I'm going to continue with moving my mask, but I'll fast forward it for you here. All right, so after all that frame by frame masking, I didn't have to do a lot of adjustments, mainly because it is a straight line and it's fairly easy to maintain that mask edge. But as you can see, I've gotten rid of everything to the right of this tree, making for a really nice smooth transition. So what you can do now is actually place this clip on top of another. So let's go here. And instead of a black screen, it's gonna be the clip that is underneath it. So there we are. There is the next clip, really smooth transition. Simulating the wipe transition. Now you can always go back to this clip and then adjust the feather a bit just to make it less of a sharp line. We're on panel, mask feather, let's increase it to 20 just to make it a little bit more soft. Perfect, looks good. Now this last masking technique I wanna show you is, is similar to the last technique, but instead of a transition, it's actually just gonna be cutting out an element or aspect in this video and putting another clip in it. So for here, I wanna replace the phone screen with another clip behind it, just another cool effect. It could also be used as a transition. So I'm gonna click on this clip here. It's a pretty obvious straight line here, so we can use a four point mask again. If you really like to, you can use the free draw pen tool. Under opacity, click this square, I'm gonna adjust it. I'm going to hit invert, that way I can see everything. Let's zoom in here to 75% just so we can see a bit better. And then I can adjust these points to get them correct. Now the thumb is in the way here, but I'm just going to make sure I have this line straight and I can adjust that in a second. Let's bring this all the way over here and then this point all the way down to here. And then we're going to click on a point here, click on a point right there. I'm going to move this one just around the thumb, bring that down. All right, perfect. Now this works best if it's a static shot or the video is taken on a tripod. This is handheld, so there's a bit of shake to it, which you're going to have to do the same method as before, where you go frame by frame. So once I have that mask set up, I'm going to drop this on top of a clip. And as you can see here, we have gotten rid of the screen and replaced it with our clip below. Now you can then reframe this clip if I turn this top layer off. Let's go fit to start off with. So I'm gonna to toggle off this video two layer, click on my bottom layer with this helicopter. I'm gonna bring down the scale and then adjust it to where the phone is so you can see this helicopter a bit better. So let's toggle that back on. So there you go, you can actually see the helicopter a bit better. I might move that even more. Using the X and Y axis here, you can move where exactly your clip is gonna show. All right, so that looks a lot better. Now it looks like you're almost zooming in on a specific section in the sky here where this helicopter is flying. So again, you can take some time, fine tune your adjustments. You can go frame by frame to make sure that your masking is flawless and looks completely natural. But there you have it. That's how you create a mask in Adobe Premiere Pro. Whether you want to apply a color grade to a specific section of the video, if you'd like to use it as a transition, or if you'd simply like to mask out or in another clip on top or beneath your video. To further transform and stylize your photos and videos, check out filtergrade.com for all the best Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, Capture One styles, and video LUTs. Thank you.